let's see what's going on Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus this is for April but if it if you watch it and other than you know the month of April that's fine what's happening for Sun Moon Rising Venus for Pisces Pisces what's what's happening okay this is the sign of self undoing letting go this is realizing releasing getting more spiritual too let's see Okay, this one wanted to flip like this. So we have the six of coins here. You could be receiving something for someone, okay? What's the challenge here about this receiving? Uh-oh. What's the challenge? Oh, what are you receiving? Is something secretive? Something is being revealed to you, okay? You could be revealing something to somebody. And it seems what challenging to you. In the past, you have the Ten of Cups with the Pisces energy. Happy, 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 okay? This is a happy home life, fun activities, you know, feeling that energy of, you know, support, going to the beach as well, you know, just playing around, having a very good time. So you're receiving something intuitively or you're wanting to give to something to somebody intuitively right here, okay? Um... So in the past, in the present moment, the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords represents a man who has, the, you know, they're resting, okay? This is someone who is definitely resting, but they have something to say here, even though their eyes are closed. They want to tell you something intuitively, okay? This person is wanting to speak to you intuitively. Um, this could definitely be um, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords. Okay, it's telling me to go ahead and take that. The sun, okay, um, needing to see something clearly, okay? Something is wanting to be revealed to you clearly. You could be dealing with a, um, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Leo. However, there is knowledge that wants to come through, um, some truth. Okay, this is holding back, um, two of cups. Yeah, uh, knowing that as well, there's he's holding on to, yeah, Leo energy with the high priestess here. Um, strength, guidance, okay, courage, having that courage, having that courage, needing that courage as well, Pisces. Um, seven of Swords, yeah, you're not, you know, you're, you're not holding back. You're not holding back. You're, you're, you are releasing those energies as well. You're releasing those energies. You are um, intuitively re releasing those energies. Um, knowing exactly what you want here, you want the truth, you want, um, it's like this energy of, you know, deception, lies, uh, codependency is now being, um, it's like a karmic cycle that has been exposed here, okay? Anything else wants to be said? Yeah, so we have the ego here um, of not taking a situation due to, um, it's telling you to have strength and have courage here. Um, this intuition that is being given to you, it takes time and knowledge, okay? Um, don't hold back, okay? Don't hold back. Give it all that you have. Give it all that you have in this particular situation, okay? Because you're not getting the full picture. You're not getting the full picture because there's a lot of ego here that is being, that is holding you back from taking action, okay? And a lot of codependency natures around you know, um, a family, and this is family, not having any hope, any, uh, yeah, not having any hope, this is, uh, um, maybe you're giving too much away, um, you're not caring for yourself, needing to care for yourself here, manipulating the situation, okay, there's something about something about not taking action with um, an intuition, with your intuition being successful and knowing will set you free. Okay, and I feel like this is a strong connection to Leo. Oh yeah, setting that intention will definitely set you free. It didn't pay off. It did. It's like it didn't pay off. Did it pay off? We have the moon card here, which is in reverse. So something is being revealed here. Something, something is not. Okay, we have the lovers card here. This is uh, needing to make a decision. You've been pushing a decision back because um, what's going to hurt you will hurt you. Or, or what is this? Um, yeah, it's not making any any decisions here. What's really going on? It's like 
there's a lot that needs to be said, and I feel like it is being revealed to you um, intuitively. It's Pisces energy. I feel like you're connected to Leo for some reason. This is, you know, needing to have a plan, needing to make a plan, but yeah, it still will be there. A new passion, okay? A new passion, whether it is for your job, for your work. I'm feeling like, yeah, there's a new love. There's a new opportunity here, whether it is a love, but you're not making that decision. Um or there is this Pisces energy is wanting to reveal this to someone. Okay. Oh, that's a strong, that's a strong message for a uh, Pisces. Okay. But this is like Pisces wanting to get a message across and it's very strong. Let's see what the uh, message is coming through for the romance angels. I have like silk therapy on my hands. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's by Farouk system, but it's a hair product and it's making my cards slippery. So we have honeymoon here. Something could have happened on your honeymoon for some of you. Okay, healing family issues. <sighs> Needing to get away as well. Just enjoying the time together is, is enabling you to heal these issues. Trusting in the divine, trusting in the truth within this separation. For some of you, you might not be together with this person. Yeah, it's saying, like, make the effort, you know, make the effort to, wow, a card just got out. Make the effort getting to know each other, okay? There's someone here that is, it's, it's like you're in, in your childlike nature, okay? You're, it's, it's saying that you've been separated here for a reason. And I feel like this is Pisces, but you're wanting to tell this to someone. For some reason, I'm getting this energy. But Pisces, okay? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Trust that your family issues will heal within time, okay? You are divinely guided. Um, wow, this is like, uh, reminds me of Italy as well. Um, family, okay? Base of chakra, going through change, needing to come together. Okay, life purpose. You will find your life purpose in your trueness with number 22, okay? You need to look at number 22 and 5 as well, okay? Okay. Um, also, nine is what I'm getting. Um, very strong energy is coming through. So, so honeymoon, and feel, uh, this is a time to get to know each other, okay? Within the separation, you have to make the effort, though, to There's a, some sort of separation here. And I feel like there is a separation, but it's getting to know the truth that lies within you and your life purpose. But your family is helping you ground yourself, Okay. Very strong energies. I love this. Thank you so very much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you.